everyone welcome back to the channel this is Sai epic and today we got a nine second spider team to showcase for you guys pretty excited about it. it's the first time i know there's plenty of others out there but uh this is my pride and joy here i'm very happy about it so uh let's let's get started now first off i want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys showed me in my very first video i was um i was a little nervous <laughs> Not gonna lie, they say that you know that when you do something for so many years, it's like riding a bike, you just get back on it and go. No, no, it's not. Not not when it comes to making videos. No, no, God, Lee, after two years of not making content, good God, that was uh, a little bit nerve wracking. In fact, so nerve wracking that this is actually my second take on this video. Yeah, because uh, I looked at it and I'm like, oh crap, I can do a little better than this. So here we are doing another one. <laughs> Hopefully, it's better. <laughs> Of course, my fingers over here. But thank you guys for the support. Uh, as I mentioned before, guys, uh, this account is not a um, veteran account, if you will. I, I did start playing the game uh, like a year or so ago, but it's been on and off. And like I showed you guys, I think I think I did show you guys the last time that uh, when it comes to days played on the game, I don't think I have a full year just yet. Nonetheless, uh, we getting I have gotten extremely lucky with my pulls since i've been back I, I am very well aware of this i hope you're happy too do i look happy i get back into the game in december and i never even heard what primal charts were i had no idea what these things were and i decided okay not knowing that these things are like precious i didn't even know mythicals were in the game pull the char Chris here, right here okay no hard feelings but i hate you i'm like what what the what the freak another thing i didn't know about souls either yeah i know i know this is pro i probably shouldn't be telling because i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for just that stupid lucky i've been then i do i don't know what this is either at that time and who i think i got one of these somewhere the immortal souls and i got the four star soul for Crixia also done at this point i have no clue what's going on i'm just excited to be back in the game I, I really enjoyed it i just didn't have time to actually play actually i haven't had time to play much games since i since i left this whole um this whole scene uh for a while but i was very excited about it so i started playing and uh, i think about of i think about 15 days into the back into the game less like 10 days i'm like man i need a clan to go into so i found uh my clan mates which by the way they are freaking amazing they helped me out get myself rolling back into the game so i joined the clan because i really like their name casual introverts i i tend to really really identify with that so it's been absolutely fun they've been great in fact they were the ones who actually encouraged me to start making videos again uh and especially on raid so i'm i'm happy that, that i'm doing i'm pretty excited about it so all right let's get to the team because that's that's what i'm here for and you guys are done hearing me jap about random stuff all right so let's do this here we go here is the team right here spider den there we go right there we'll just give it a run and then uh, i'll show you guys the setup on how i have it done so there we go let's get this going all right so don't blink <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Done. <laughs> it is so fast. I can never get to tell you just how fun it is to do dungeons divers with this thing. And the fact is we got another slot here. So we can put a food there for that. So let me show you how what that's like with uh with food. So he's just gonna be there and we can just just start leveling this guy. And I just usually do multi-battles in here and then just go for it. And I can get my dungeons divers done and also leveling uh champions with it. Look at that. That is so good. <laughs> anyways all right so there we go so we get some levels actually pretty nice to level now it's so quick because it's nine seconds so by the time a minute is done this guy's level pretty high already so anyways let's go back to the uh uh so you guys can take a look at the team setup real quick so the way that this works is that i have sulfurian detonating uh right at first he puts the each burn and the detonate uh but before that just remember that there is a passive where there is already an hp burn in there so we're constantly have the hp burn up on all the all the spider links now i know that we're missing some because of the time i can improve this a lot more if i can get the speeds correctly uh it's very very tuned but uh but anyways but this this works really well four turns i like to get it down to three turns but i that's gonna take a, a lot more to be able to accomplish that we'll get there though it would be nice to get to the eight second mark anyway so 
So Farron comes in, and then Theo comes in with another detonate right here. That it just explodes the uh, the burns right here. And then after that, Gizma comes in also with his flame resume, who does the same thing, but he actually puts a hit, which is kind of useful because it just gives us enough more damage into the spider that a Crixia can just comes in and just demolishes everything. Now Crixia. What does it for a Crixia is that I actually managed to get it to 332 uh, crit damage. Before, originally this team, the first time I built it, it was about 12, 11, 12 seconds. I think I got it to 10 seconds by using Gizmag's alternative form where he will actually, um, I'm sorry, not a ton of uh, doing this first, which this was when it was a five turn. But this allows us to increase the crit rate by 30% and that is super it puts a Chrissy right over that line where she can just one shot the rest of the spider so very 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 good if you if you cannot get um a Chrissy to that to this much of um of a crit damage then that he's helpful with that or any other champion that that will do that you can put in this in fact i i do four but i mean you can you can put another guy in there and it'll get you there you know so pretty fun i know this team is absolutely it's it, it's probably what is considered a pay to win team. It probably is. I, I it, it sure is. Even though I just got stupid lucky by getting them, uh, I am a spender in the game, obviously. <laughs> but, but anyway, super fun team, guys. So let me take a look at the uh, show you guys the specs on how I have them set up on each individual one of them. Uh, let's start with Sulfurian, guys. Sulfurian, man. I know there is a uh, the, or there was by the time this video comes out a. Uh, uh, 10x for this guy this guy i tell you guys this guy carried me through this game when i got back i was so like i didn't even know what he was he was vaulted until dumb me didn't do his research properly i forgive you all right <laughs> i forgive you and the clan was like is he like part of some top teams on spider and stuff i'm like oh that grabbed my attention let me go check it out and i find out i'm like golly no this guy's amazing you know when you get back into the game you've been going for a long time there's so many changes that happen that you just it takes you a while for actually to catch up and just figure out what the frick is going on with the game so my goodness just phenomenal champion if you got him on the 10x congratulations especially if you are early game mid game this guy's amazing i use this guy everywhere hydra uh dungeons spider um I mean, he's just Doom Tower. He's just amazing. Love this guy. Uh, for this guy, in the future, what I would like to see him is I'd like to see him in regen gear instead of the uh, the perception. Yeah, I want I want him full regen and uh, immortal. That's that's what I want for him because I want him to just continue to heal and stay alive uh, throughout it all. Uh, right now, I have an all about survivability for him and also accuracy because I want him to never miss putting that HP burn and detonating it uh, when the time comes. So again my gear is not top gear just yet i've just been back to the game for about two months now so it's, it's gonna take a minute for me to get you know the triple quad rolls on every single piece and all, that, all the mythical gear you know even though i got one here actually it's pretty cool to get this stuff so they're, they're not that great like i said i just gotta keep farming to get there but anyways uh when it comes to his stats over here we got him with eighty-one thousand hp which is absolutely awesome um, the speed is around 250 again speeds on most of my characters are going to be low for you know end game um but again we'll we'll get there with those uh accuracy i have a 373 which the accuracy is is pretty high but is this high because originally i was using this guy on iron twins for me and uh and also uh sand devil he was being used instead of ninja back then so he needed so much accuracy to be able to land his stuff. i think i think he needed like 500 and something it was crazy what i had him with before so anyway so that's with him when it comes to the skill the blessings i got emergency heal because i like that i use him on fire knight not fire knight, i'm sorry uh ice golem and the ice golem i uh, mean he needs to survive those those hits when they come and when they break the shield he heals himself it's really nice really would love to see more stars another soul with maybe three four stars on him that'll be amazing for masteries obviously we went with the defense tree on him and then we went down all the way to accuracy i went down here because i didn't have as much accuracy back then i probably do things a little different uh this time around but for now maybe even going with the uh with the counter attack because he does have the a1 that he gives himself third meter so it would be actually kind of useful on that instead of the extra uh, 50 accuracy i don't really think i need it not for where my account is at i um sand devil is already taken care of which is the one that requires the most accuracy so i don't have to uh 
to worry about that uh and also iron twin so i'm not gonna pretend that i'm like a super duper awesome understanding of all the setup in here i did the best i could with the research that i done but i just wanted to share with you guys you know where it is up with um with my account here and so that's all for him for you guys let's take a look at oh why did i get out <laughs> let's take a look now at theodore theodore actually i got theodore before i left and he was just sitting there doing absolutely nothing and i did not realize just how much of a monster i had in my hands man this guy is freaking unbelievable uh originally before i had sulfurin i paired him up with Varal on dungeons and golly because it's one of those things that i didn't have seer or any of these guys that just wave clear so fast but i noticed that when when i started pairing champions like theodore to detonate poisons and also somebody to lay more poisons in it was it really helped getting through waves on dungeons it made it a bit slower obviously anybody who has seer can just go through waves but it was stable which to me i think is kind of like the best scenario and i think i want more stability even if it takes a little more time than having failed runs when it's gonna cost me energy for absolutely no reason when it comes to his gear uh everything is about again the accuracy and speed for me for him um but again 246 speed 320 uh accuracy 79,000 hp i would love this to be a little higher i want it to be more tanky 2500 defense but that's where we are right now and he's working i I've, I've been using him on just about everywhere he's, he's just phenomenal uh with masters obviously did the same thing very similar to what i have on sulfurin except again i want to make sure he's more protective with those hits i want him to survive as much as possible uh so gear should improve in the future because i, I don't plan on not stop using this guy anytime soon so next we have a chrissy chrissy i just got her so still a lot to be working on her um but this was the best gear that i could do for her i wanted to do the best again but i didn't want to strip some of my other champions as much as possible so we managed to get her to 39 hp it's a little low 39k i really want some more a lot of defense so that helps a bit uh but the, the way that i set this up it was mostly because i just wanted that crit damage i usually like to put a crit here with teams that are going to make sure to keep her alive to get to where she needs to get to and just demolish bosses and things like that accuracy i did a little bit of accuracy on her because i do like the fact that a1 puts uh decreased defense on things it, it does come handy it's not a hundred percent sometimes it fails but when it does when it actually lands it's pretty amazing so so that's what we got in uh, set up for her in here and the last one we have is gizmax <laughs> nice. yeah this is this is just the lucky freaking just shot that I got Gizmac on the one shot. One shot that I got won in the tournament. Oh my god. Anyway. So I got uh I got Gizmac set up again with him. I've been trying, I'm still building him. He's a little too slow. He needs to be a little faster. 85k on the hp which is is solid especially when he goes into alter form his damage is based off hp saying he, he's decently hard it's actually surprisingly uh, a good nuker uh, not, not not crazy like you know narcissus or anything like that but good enough that he makes some does some work but it's all about the the detonations with him when it comes to the hp burn the good thing is that i don't need accurate him all you need is 100 percent crit rate and he'll land those burns every single time there, there's nothing to worry about him on that one so concentrate on him was you know the 100 crit rate hp and then as much crit damage as i can from him so that he can uh you know do some do some work when i need to hit because in his alter form he actually gains more crit damage and he like i said he hits hard and that's what we want to do is when we don't want to use him to hit anything on his uh normal form we, we want to go to the alternative form to do that because this form right here good god man he he's freaking amazing Pain Link is, oh, I'll have to do a video just on him. It's pretty good. But this is the one that we use. He put the Chris defense and then he hits the target. Um, and it, the other good thing about it is that um, this debuff cannot be resisted if it's on the speed burn. So it's guaranteed because he's usually put in them unless they clean them, cleanse themselves. That will be an arena situation. Uh, but placing in extra healing enemies with the speed burn. I mean, it's solid, solid, solid. So that was it. Uh, no masteries on him yet. I, I don't have masteries on him. 
I gotta work on that. I am low on the gems right now, and I'll be focusing on the Armsman's um, uh, fusion right now. So I'm, all my resources are going towards that. So I haven't messed with uh, with with that. So there you guys, that's it for the team. Uh, it's it's amazing. I'm very happy that I was able to pull this off, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.